My name is Patty Coates, President of the Ontario Federation of Labour. The OFL represents 54 unions and a million workers and advocates for the rights of all workers, whether they are in a union or not. Each year, the labour movement marks the April 28th National Day of Mourning for workers killed on the job or who have suffered occupational injury, illness, or disease. This year, the OFL invites you to join Ontario's Labour Councils and the NDP for an online ceremony and moment of silence. We begin with an address by Andrea Horvath, leader of Ontario's official opposition. Today I stand in solidarity with workers across Ontario and Canada in marking the National Day of Mourning. During the COVID-19 pandemic, we are especially thankful for essential workers, healthcare workers and public health staff, first responders, pharmacists, grocery store staff, farmers, truckers, supply chain workers. And we're especially sorrowful for those of them who have been infected by COVID-19 at work. We mourn the loss of people who have died from this terrible virus. And remember that even during this extremely challenging time, every workplace death is a preventable death. And every worker has the right to protection and safety at work. No exceptions. On this day of mourning, I'm launching the fight to ensure that all workers during this pandemic have presumptive coverage for COVID-19, both for the virus itself and for the trauma, PTSD and mental health challenges that may come after it. As we mark the National Day of Mourning, we remember the dead and fight for the living. Thank you, Andrea. The labor movement will continue to demand safe and healthy workplaces, including personal protective equipment workers need, proactive health and safety inspections, and workers' compensation. No worker should be killed on the job by COVID-19, violence, or through lax safety standards. Yet, 2019 saw 190 worker deaths in Ontario alone before the COVID-19 crisis even began in Ontario. Today, we mourn together. Please join us in a moment of silence. Thank you.